What's up guys, got the new Mac Studio with the M4 Max chip, the better version of it. It also comes with an optional M3 Ultra chip, which costs more, that offers better performance. So I opted for the M4 Max chip. So this video is going to be more performance based where I'm actually going to compare this. I'm gonna render a video, which takes a lot of GPU and CPU, and I wanna compare how much faster or slower this can be compared to the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip. And also I have a Windows machine with an RTX 3090, which is I guess now two generations old, but the 3090 is still pretty, it's a pretty good video card so far. So I will do a render with the same DaVinci Resolve on all three uh, computers to show you guys how fast or how slow one is and we'll, we'll compare it. We'll see how good the new M4 Max chip is. So in terms of what comes inside the box, everything you see here is what comes inside the box. It doesn't come with a keyboard or a mouse or anything like that. So we get the computer, we get the power cord, and we get this little, uh, probably a quick start guide is the best way of describing this thing. It just tells you what the ports are and everything. So, and uh, yeah, so let's take a closer look. In case you guys are wondering, this is the last generation, the previous generation because now they have the smaller Mac Mini with the M4 chip. This is the M2 Pro chip. And this thing, they're essentially identical in size in terms of that, but in terms of height, the Mac Studio is actually much, much thicker, basically, much taller, I should say. We got some USB-Cs or Thunderbolt 5s in the front. We got the SD card. We got an LED indicator right here. We got the Apple logo. We got a bunch of ports in the back. We got some vents and everything. So again, USB-C's or Thunderbolt 5. We got a 10 gig ethernet card or ethernet port, which I really like because I have a 10 gig NAS and I have the 10 gig switch and I actually render my video files directly from my NAS and this 10 gig really makes it awesome. Uh, power port, USB-A's, HDMI. We got the auxiliary for the headphones and we got the power button, pretty much same position as the M2 Pro chip. And then we got the little Mac Studio on the bottom with a little bit of a rubber ring and some vents as well. So I got the Mac Studio up and running. I'm gonna do about this Mac. I got the M4 Max chip. I got the better version of the M4 Max chip and I got the 64 gigs of unified memory. So before I start off with the render, I'm just gonna do a quick internet speed test. So this thing has a 10 gig port. My internet speeds are five gigs up and down. So as you guys can see, I'm getting the five gigs to download and it depends on the server you're connecting to and the time of day, but generally speaking, I have no issues getting to the five gigs on the down with this computer. And I'm running the Asus BQ16 Pro right now in case you guys are wondering. So that's, that's the router I connected right now. So my internet will not be capped by the router that I'm testing. So five gigs up and down and then my, in fact, all my computers here that I'm gonna compare this to with the renderings, I'm gonna go to HDMI 3 by the way. All my computers uh, have 10 gig ports, the, the, the three that I'm testing right now, basically. Um, so I'm gonna set up an open speed test server. So my Mac mini with M2 Pro chip also has a 10 gig port. So all I need to do is with the Mac Studio is go to this port and then I'll run a local speed test. So that shows you how fast that port can actually go, not being limited by the, my internet speeds. So I go here and all I need to do is open up a browser and go to 192.168 and let's go, what was it? 50.73, 3000. Okay, so I'm gonna click start. And so this is, I'm no longer capped by my internet speeds at this point. So I'm basically getting um, just about those 10 gig speeds. So there's a little bit of overhead. Uh, there's some headers and stuff. So, uh, but this is pretty much, when you see these numbers, this is as close to 10 gigs as I'm gonna get. And this wouldn't just be limited by the Mac Studio, it would be both of them, the Mac Mini as well. So if the Mac Mini didn't have a fast enough port, then you wouldn't see these speeds. And I also, it's also running through a 10 gig switch as well. So we could see that the Mac Studio does in fact get to pretty close to those 10 gig speeds. So that proves that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up DaVinci Resolve. And again, the reason why I said all three of my computers have it is because I'm actually, my source files for this are actually on a NAS, a DS923P, which I reviewed, which also has a 10 gig uh, card. 
And I want to show you guys that when I skip around, and this video requires, there's more uh, layers in this video, so I would expect it to lag a little bit more, but it doesn't lag at all. So I'm going to press play real quick, and I'm just going to skip around while it's playing. So you could see that I skipped around, it had zero issues, um, it has a very fast connection to the NAS, zero issues whatsoever, a zero lag, even with some, some of these overlays. Now, this isn't like super crazy, I'm sure there's crazier projects than this, but this one, um, from my more recent videos, in fact this might be my most recent one, uh, there were some more layers and stuff and I was like, okay, because if you guys are new to the rendering world, the more layers of video that you put and audio as well too but it it usually requires some rendering or something to speed it up basically and sometimes things lack so that's kind of what i'm testing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to export this file on the mac studio i'm also going to export the same exact project on the on the two other computers and we'll put them side by side so you guys could see a difference so this one i'll just call mac studio so it's a 4K YouTube file. The, these are the settings. These settings will be the same for the other projects. So I'm gonna click Add to Render Queue. And I'm, even though the source files are on my Synology NAS, which is on the network, I will be exporting to the desktop. And this is pretty much, this, because I work from the NAS, at, as of a few months ago, I started working exclusively on the NAS. This is how I render. So now we're at the Mac Mini, and this again, this is the one with the M2 Pro chip. So if I do about this Mac, you could see M2 Pro, 32 gigs. So we'll close that. We'll open up Eero 7 versus Pro 7. There's the same exact project. The source files are in the same exact spot. So if I click on this and I click Reveal in Finder, it should find it. So on this network drive with basically the same place, DS923P. So if I clicked on this and I clicked on photos, this is, it's basically, it's within these files essentially. So the same thing with this Mac Mini, if I press play. This is the Pro 16, just something to keep in mind. A huge jump because it's coming from a one point drop, a bunch of devices and I personally I've had no issues uh, the now getting these fast picks to showing you guys the connection and then we have some events on. So even with the Mac Mini M2 Pro chip, the, at, at first it looked like there was a tad bit of audio lag and then it kind of looked like it fixed itself. Uh, but this one also doesn't have many issues or any issues, what pretty much, or for the most part, in terms of loading the file. So if you're working on the project, you could you know skip around and you should be good. So I'm going to go to YouTube, I'm going to do 4K, we'll call this file Mac Mini, and again, I'm going to put it on the desktop, and every, everything is the same, basically all the settings are the same, I'm going to click Add to Render Queue. So now we're on my Windows machine, I do have the RTX 3090 as you guys could see right there, and my CPU is the 5950X, which was a very, very good processor uh, two generations ago, still very fast, but there are better ones now. Um, oh yeah, and I also want to show you guys that I do, one, six, eight, 50, 73. Um, I'll just show you guys the download, the upload's not as important, uh, cause I'm downloading from the server. So pretty much getting right around the same speeds as the other ones. So 9.6, 9.7, right around, <clears throat> right around there. Okay, so let's kick off the rendering here. I'm going to open up the same project. It opens it up from the NAS, so if I click on Edit, I will click on a file, do Open File Location. As you guys could see, it's off my network drive, my DS923P just like it is for the other guys, same exact project. I'm gonna press play. Oh, so take a can out of these 1.65 base, this will be fixed. Now, the Euro actually, the other two pass. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's very fast. 
when there's essentially no lag when I'm skipping around and I'm going to do the same thing 4k same everything and we'll call this uh, Windows machine okay or I should just call it RTX 3090 so do add to render queue and I'm going to put it on my desktop I could copy these source files to the Mac Studio. That may speed it up a little bit more, but all three are running the test from the same exact spot. So I'm gonna click render all, and you guys are gonna see how fast this thing actually renders. And we'll put them side by side with the Mac Mini, uh, with the M2 Pro chip, and as well as my Windows computer, which is an RTX 3090 card. Uh, which is two generations old, but it's still a pretty good card. It's still pretty fast. It was like amazing a few years ago. Uh, it's still very good right now, but there are better cards than that. And that one, uh, I have an AMD, I think it's the 5950X, as well as I think I have 32 gigs of RAM on that. So, yeah, let's check this out, see how well this works, and we'll go from there. M2 Pro completed in 11 minutes and 21 seconds. That is more than double the time than the M4 Max. So final thoughts. Mac Studio is a very good computer. It's a lot faster than my Mac Mini. Took less than half the time to render, which is very important for me. Uh, not quite as fast as the 3090, but honestly, that was kind of a tall dream. Maybe if I got the M3 Ultra chip, it might have beaten the 3090, but it was already pretty expensive as it was and I didn't want to pay extra, especially because I want to get uh, one of the newer laptops, Windows laptop with the new RTX cards. And I'm like, if I pay even more for this, then that's going to be harder to get. I'm like, so I think this is a very good sweet spot. Again, you guys saw the performance. It's pretty good performance. Can you get something better for the price that'll give you more performance? Absolutely. If in my mind, if you were able if you basically build a Windows machine, it will definitely beat this in performance, especially if you're lucky enough right now, because there's pretty much sold out, if you're lucky enough right now to get an RTX 5080 at retail price and you combo that with the new Ryzen 9950 chips, I think it will definitely easily beat this Mac Studio in terms of performance. So if you're looking for performance, definitely go the Windows, Windows route, definitely build your own machine. There's a whole bunch of tutorials online as well, or you could just buy one pre-built. It'll probably cost, and I mean, it'll cost a little bit more, but they'll still be pretty fast. So if you're looking for performance, that's the way to go. If you're looking for Mac because you're used to the operating system or you just want something compact, something with a lot of ports that has pretty good performance, then the Mac Studio is very good. And I'm, I'm actually happy I didn't get the new Mac Mini. Not that I wouldn't like it. I like the fact that it's even smaller and takes even less space. And that's actually one of the things I like about the Mac Studio. So the Mac Mini would definitely be a bigger win there. But the Mac Mini just wouldn't have this performance. And I also don't like the fact that they took away a lot of ports off the Mac Mini. So with that, this is a very nice sweet spot. Good performance, good size, a lot of ports. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.